Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Feel free to unmute your microphone. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to see everybody this morning. Hope everything is going well for you. Hope your classes are going well. Hope everyone is feeling good, safe, healthy, strong, ready to learn. Today we've got a lot of things I want to talk about. A lot of things I want to try to accomplish today. Um, the first thing, I went in and I listened to your uh, videos that you uploaded to Flipgrid. And I really enjoyed your, your videos. I am enjoying them. Some really good ideas about what a true friend is. A lot of great ideas. A lot of good adjectives to describe what a good friend is. I have just a few comments that I want to share with you and talk with you about. And the first, the first is working on pronunciation. And I'm going to type in a word in the chat. So if you don't have your chat open, go ahead and open up the chat. How do you pronounce this word? Friend. Go ahead. Anybody else? How would you pronounce this word? Just go ahead and jump right in. Okay. Go ahead. Everyone jump right in. Don't don't be shy. How do you pronounce this word? I know it's it's early. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Maybe we're just getting out of bed. Go ahead and unmute your microphone and pronounce this word. I'd like for you to hear for yourself how you pronounce this word. Friend. Hmm? Go ahead, everyone. Friend. 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 Good. Can you type in the chat any words that rhyme with the word, with this word? Can you type into the chat any words in English that rhyme with the word friend. Rhyme is a word that sounds very similar that has the same vowel sound. Any words that rhyme with friend, go ahead and, ch and include it in the chat. Any words in English that rhyme with the word with this word? For example, you mean like Oh, sorry. No, go you ahead. Mean like a word that is uh, quite similar to friends? Yes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. okay. A word that's very similar in the sound of the word, fr of this word. Okay, so Fernando has uploaded a word. Any other words that rhyme with this word? Any words that rhyme with this word? And specifically the vowel. This is what I want us to focus on in this, in this word, right? Without me saying the word here yet.
Okay, I'm going to type in some words here in the chat. All right, again, I want us to focus on the vowel sound. Okay, so the word is friend, friend, friend. All right, so friend rhymes with trend, bend, send, mend, hen, without the D, Jen, as in short for Jenny, Jen, Lend, Zen, Friend. Okay, so be careful with the word friend. It, there's no diphthong, friend, or, or uh, it's, yeah, it's not a diphthong. It's just a, the vowel sound, E. And I want to share with you, this is how... When I was growing up, when I was a little boy, growing up and learning how to be a better speaker of English, we all learned the vowel sounds. All right, and we learned the vowel sounds this way. All right, what are the vowels? What do you guys think? What are the vowels in English? What are the vowels in English? Um, all of those sounds that we... Uh, no. Uh, Sorry, uh, then I think you cut out a little bit. All of the sounds, can you finish that uh, statement? All the sounds? Oh, yeah. I, was, I was just thinking. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah all, for me, yeah, all of those sounds that we produce, uh, our mouth produce, but, but also a consonant produce a sound. So, so yeah, I'm thinking. Right. So, so you mentioned uh, vowel and consonant, right. Uh, so can anyone provide the examples uh, of the vowels in English, the English vowels? For example, a, uh, e, e, o, u. Um, e. For example, a, uh, I don't know, I'm just, um, because English have more sounds that, uh, than Spanish, so... Um, Yes, uh -huh. they, they do, right? And uh, this is one of the reasons why I want us to, to talk about these vowel sounds for a few minutes. All right, so every word in the English language has to have at least one vowel. Okay, so every word has to have a vowel, otherwise it's not a word. Okay, the vowels in English, and I've included them in the chat. And please repeat after me. A. Everyone. A. A. E. A. E. A. E. I. 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 O. 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 U. 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 And sometimes Y. 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 As in. Shy. Remember, every word in the English language has to have at least one vowel. Otherwise, it's not a word. Okay, so again, A, A, E, E, e I, 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 O, 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 U, 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 U Y. Why? 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 All right, those are the names of the, the letters, right? Those are the names of the letters, but they're also sounds. They are a sound that exists in the English language, right? So, A, we can say the word may, right? So, A is a sound. It's the name of the letter, but it's also a sound. So, these are all sounds in English. A, E, I, O, U, Y. Okay, these are sounds in English 
and they're also the name of the letter, okay? Now, we also have a different sound, and this is why English is so difficult, right? Because there's so many different sounds. But today, we're just going to talk about two vowel sounds, okay? This is one, A, E, I, O, U, and Y. That's one way of looking at vowel sounds. Now, here's a second way of looking at the vowel sounds. Now, notice that I have them in lowercase letters. All right, now I'm going to ask, in fact, let me just repeat now the sound of the lowercase letters that I've included here. These are vowels, but they're lowercase. So the first sound, ah. Everyone, ah. 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 What's a word, what is a word that rhymes with that, that has that sound? A very short word that has that ah sound eh any ideas plan cat cat very good anybody else i think somebody said plant maybe bat bat any others fact fact mm -hmm. Map, right. Map. Okay, so that's another sound. Now, what's this sound? E. E. Now, what's a word that has that sound, lowercase e? E. What's a word that has that sound? Somebody say something. <laughs> you don't have to whisper. You guys don't have to whisper. Speak speak right up. <laughs> what's what's a word that has the e eh sound? E. Eh. It's not e. It's e. Eh. Wet. Wet. Very good. Wet. Another word. Met. Very good. Met. Okay, weather, weather, the eh and weather. Very good. Carlos, anybody else? Friend, exactly. Pet. Vanessa. Sorry? <laughs> Pet. Pet, yes. Good. Pet, eh. Pet. All right, so we have e, eh, the sounds e, eh. So we have a, so, e, e. Now, e, e. What's a word that has this sound, this vo this vowel sound? E. You repeat that sound. E, e. Not I. It's e. What are some words that have the i sound? Um, guitar. Guitar, 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 yes. I, you're very good, guitar. Any other words that have the i sound? Smile, smile. What vowel sound does smile have? Smile, smile. I, I, I. We'll come back to smile, Vanessa. Okay, we'll come back to that one. Any anybody else have any other words that rhyme with I? Okay, interesting. And the first vowel sound in I, interesting. Here are some really short words in English that rhyme, that have the sound I, hit, bit, kit, mit, lit, mix. 
right? They all have this I sound. Now, compare that sound, I, to the word smile that has a an I, I, smile, dial, mile. Hear the difference? Mile. Mm. Lyle, the, the name, Lyle. Okay, so we have I, that's the uppercase letter, I, that's also the sound, and then the lowercase, I. Okay, so A, E, I, now what about this one? Right, while, that's another example, uh, Adan. Now what about this next vowel sound? Or. Now, we have to contrast. Remember, we have two vowel sounds. We have the uppercase letter in the sound, and we have a lowercase. So the uppercase, the sound is O, because that's also the name of the letter, but it's also the sound O. But the lowercase letter, what's the lowercase Oh. What what do you think the sound is for the lower case uh, letter? For example, for example, ow. For example, top. Mm -hmm. Top. All right. So, what are some words that have the sound? I mean, in the additional words. Adan, can you say that word one more time? Top. Okay. Top. E Top. Okay, good. Anybody else? Okay, the word short. 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 Phone. All right, so all of those... Okay, so we've, we've got some d different sounds here, right? So let's look at... I'm going to share some words that have... This lowercase o, pot, got, bot, top, ah. So this lowercase o has actually an ah sound. Ah, pot, got, bot, top, lot, lot. Even in the word, in the phrase, a lot, two words, or a, or lot, like a lot of land, like a space, a piece of land. A lot. Um, what else? Not. Okay, so these all have a lowercase o sound. Ah, ah. As in not, lot. Okay, when we say throw, 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 short. That has more of an O sound, or the uppercase O, like, like this, the O, short. Okay, so we have O and A. Ah. O, uppercase, O, lowercase, A. Ah. Okay, these are the two different sounds, and there are many others, right? So these are just two sounds for each letter, right? And this is what I want to work with you guys on is, See, seeing that there are two different sounds for these letters. Now, we have the letter U. Now, what about the lowercase U? What sound does the lowercase U have? And what are some words that have the sound? Okay, the word use, but uh, think of another word that has, use actually has, all right, until, all right, so I, Monica has a good word here, until, uh, until, good, jazz, cut, until. Hear the difference between use, use, and until, use, cut, 
Different sounds. Under. That's good, uh, Vanessa. Under. Up. Very good. Adan. Up. Uh. Hut. Umbrella. Good, uh, Monse. Gut. Mutt. Hut. On. Well, we got a lot of vowels there. Entrepreneur, right? So, yeah, there's some uh sounds in there. Probably the second one. Entra. Tra. Entra. Pra. That's another one. Entrepreneur. So, maybe the the second and third E. Unbelievable. Good, Monica. The first sound. Un. Un. Unbelievable. Okay. Very good. All right. So, here we have our vowels. A E I O U, and we also have A E I A U. All right. So when you're practicing these, remember that these are the sounds A E I O U, and we call those the long vowels, and the short vowel sounds are the A E I A U. A E I A U. Right, and I think the easiest way to practice these is just as we're doing now, maybe create a list of very short words in English. I wouldn't make this any harder than it has to be. Most three-letter words, you can find words that uh, that, rum, that rhyme with these, that, that you can use these words in. So like hat, bet, hit, hot, but. Right? And, of course, there are many other words in each of these vowel sounds. But choose some of these words that you're familiar with already when you're practicing these vowel sounds. Ha, a, hat, bet, hit, hot, but. A, e, i, a, a. Okay? All right, so vowel sounds. All right, a couple more things here. Uh, the, what are the, what's the difference between these two words? I'm going to add these to the chat. What's the difference between these two words, and how do you pronounce each of these two words? Any ideas? Uh, well, my opinion, it is advice, and the other one is advice. All right. It's kind of hard to tell, and this is just because of the sound quality of our audio here. Um can you tell me again the difference in the pronunciation? I'm not sure if I can make it out here. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Uh, advice and advice. Right. Advice. It's like oh, ice. Advice. Okay. advice. So the first word here, advice, advice, it's like ice. Like ice, ice, baby, ice. Advice, nice, price, lice. Okay, those are words that rhyme with the word advice. The second word has almost like a, a Z sound, like in zoo or zebra. Advise, 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 Z. So everyone, can you say the first word, advice? Advice. 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 Right. Advice. 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 All right. Advice. Now the six. All right. And the second word now. Advise. 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 Say the word out loud. Try to listen to yourself. Say these words. Advise. With a Z. Ad Advise. 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 It rhymes with the word buys. Like she buys clothes. Buys. Advise. Mm, what's another word? Size. Size. Advise. Now, what part of speech... Let's put our grammar hats on for just a moment. What part of speech... And a part of speech can be a noun, a verb, an adjective, an adverb, a preposition, a connector. What part of speech 
is the first word advice. Advice with like ice. What part of speech? It's a noun. It's a noun. It's a noun. So in English, we have what's called countable and non countable nouns. Some nouns we can count, like phone. One phone, two phones, three phones. We can count phones. We can count computers. One computer, two computers. Can we count money? Well, we can count, I guess we can count money, but can we count the word money? One money, two monies, three monies? Can we count time? No. Right? One no. time? Well, I guess times, that's not a good example. You can't technically count time, right? These are called uncountable nouns. So advice, it is a noun, and it's non-countable. So if you're saying a good friend, do I say a good friend gives me advices, or does a good friend give me advice, gives me a lot of advice, right? So make sure that when you're talking about a good friend giving good advice or giving giving you a lot of good advice, that it's uh, without the S, okay? So we don't say advices, we say advice. A lot of advice, some advice, it's like some money. Advise, with a, like a Z sound, advise, the second word. What part of speech is advise? It's a verb. It's a verb. She advises me to go to cool, go to class or go to school. Advise. Okay, so it's a verb. They advise, I advise, you advise, we advise, they advise. Okay, so be careful with that uh, that word. Uh, one more one more thing, one more phrase I want to share with you. I heard this uh, phrase, and this is a good one. All right, talk about someone. Talk to someone. All right, so when we talk about someone, all right, it can be positive or negative, so it depends on what the person is saying, right? So if he or she, if someone is talking about someone, if you say, oh, I think she's talking about me, that could be a bad thing. You might think, oh, she's saying something bad about me. That's usually the context. Of course, you could be talking about someone in a positive way, but sometimes when you uh, say, well, they talk about someone, it means someone else is talking about, uh, about you. Okay, It can be positive or negative. To talk to someone, that means you're talking directly to that person. So be careful with whether it's about someone or to someone, to talk to someone, to talk about someone, uh, whenever you're using this phrase to talk about or to talk to. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, very good. What I'd like to do, I want to do two things for the rest of the class today. Uh, the first is um, I'm going to share my screen. And let's try this here. Okay, I'm going to go into yesterday's activity, What Makes a True Friend in Flipgrid. And I'm going to start at the bottom. I think those at the bottom posted first, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not mistaken. So here's what I would like for us to do. I'd like, I'm going to uh, partner you guys up, all right, and I'm going to, I'm going to start with Andrea. I would like Andrea to partner up with Carlos. Okay, so you guys partner up. Susana and Daira, I would like you two to partner up. Uh, Nydaline and Jackie, I would like for you guys to partner up. Nelly and Jasmine, I would like for you two to partner up. Maria de Refugio and uh, Diana, I would like for you two to partner up. 
And uh, Monica and Maria de la Cruz, I'd like for you two to partner up. Alexia and Dana, I'd like for you two to partner up. Sigrid and Alonso, I'd like for you two to partner up. Fatima and Monse, I'd like for you two to partner up. Ellie and Majo, I'd like for you two to partner up. Vanessa and Nicole, I'd like for you two, please, to partner up. Erica and Nancy, you guys are going to be partners. Luis Enrique and Alondra, I'd like for you two to partner up. Uh, Yaisha and Maria del Cielo, I'd like for you two to partner up. Gabby and Maria Fernanda, I'd like for you two to partner up. Fernando and Tanya and uh, Orlando, since we have an uneven group, uh, maybe you three can partner up. Fernando, Tanya, and Orlando, uh, maybe you can respond uh, to each other. Here's what I would like for us to do. I'm going to give us about a half an hour. I'd like for you to go in and listen to your partner. All right, listen to your partner's post. And I would like for you to ask your partner by responding to your partner, ask a question about something your partner said about friendship. Think of the question words. All right, so your question could be a what question. It could be a when question. It could be a how question, a why question, a where question, with whom question. Something about what the person said. So I would like for you to, in your question, include some detail from your partner that you want to know more about. All right? And when <clears throat> you finish posting your question, I would like for each one of you to go to your own post and respond to the question. Answer the question. All right? So, uh, for example... Let's say that uh, Tanya posts a question to Fernando, right? She's going to post her question. She's going to listen to Fernando's uh, response, first of all. Hello, teacher and classmates. All right, and she's then going to post a comment, a comment as a question, all right? When Fernando receives Tanya's comment, her question, then he's going to go back, to, he's going to go to his uh, original response and click comment, to answer Tanya's question. All right? And so, in this case, I'm not going to ask that you create a mind map. I want you to just uh, speak as fluently as you can. Don't worry about making mistakes. You can always re-record it if you're not happy with your recording, as you know. All right? But uh, try not to write anything down. Listen to the question and try to elaborate Try to speak and answer the question uh, with as much detail as you can, but of course, try to keep it between one minute and one minute and a half. Okay, I think the limit is a minute and a half. Okay, when you answer the question, the question itself can be very short, of course, right? Just ask the question, but you know, feel free to speak a little bit if you're going to ask a question. You know, talk about what the person said. Maybe you say, you know, I like when you said this, and then post a question. Or, you know, so you can talk about whatever the person mentioned in the his or her video, but then post one question for your partner to answer. All right? If you have not had a chance yet to upload your video, you still may do so. Okay. Um, it looks like uh, Adan just uploaded his, which is fine. So maybe Orlando and Adan now can partner up. I didn't see that here a second ago, so maybe I missed it. All right. Um, but choose your partner, and as you are posting, if you haven't had a chance to post, please go ahead and do so. Notice how I'm partnering up. It's basically just in order. I um, So if two more people post, then you two can uh, partner up, right? If uh, the 35th and 36th response, part, uh, they can partner up once the videos have been uploaded. All right, I want to give everyone um, about a half an hour to complete this task. It's 8.35. We'll come back at 
9.05, all right, to continue with the next activity, okay? And uh, again, try not to write anything out for either the question or the response to the question. Any questions about this activity? Oh, yeah, for example, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go, go. Okay. Um, so we're, what we are going to do is, uh, I don't know, we can, uh, we can ask about um, what, uh, no, why that happened or why, uh, yeah, about, for example, um, their experience, why, uh, I don't even know how to how to. Um, oh, sorry, I I don't even know how to think that word and that that question in English in Spanish. Um, can we add more details? Uh, like, uh, for example, you miss you miss something in your speech, or or like this, or we are going to talk about uh, something that that would be interesting for, for us. All right, so so what I would suggest, it, it, this is not really a, a critique. It's really, uh, I want you to listen to your partner, his or her story, his or her ideas about what a true friend is. And then I would like for you to ask a question, any type of question, how, what, when, why, where. Just choose one. But choose one question that, is based on what the person said. So it's it's you wanting more information, more detail about something that your partner said. Okay, so maybe it's something interesting. Um, uh, let's say that the, the, your partner said something like, you know, I a true friend gives advice when there are difficult even when it's a, a difficult thing uh, to do, even when the situation is difficult, you could you could come back. You could ask your partner, "Well, when when did you um, receive advice from a friend during a difficult time? You know, when did that happen for you? Because maybe your partner didn't go into detail, and you are curious, right? So maybe you ask a question about uh, you know asking for more detail." I really want the questions to be based on what your partner said. Okay, something that's um, specific from the video. Okay, so nothing uh, beyond what the person mentioned in the video. Okay, does that answer your question, Adan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now I got it. Thank okay. you. Okay, any other questions, guys? Mm, not the chair. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. I'll be online if you guys have any uh, questions. And um, we'll come back about 9.05. We'll, we'll come back and continue with the next activity. Yes. If you guys need to uh, leave the class to upload your videos, if broadband's a problem, that's fine. You can uh, leave class and come back at 9.05. Uh, it will not affect your, your attendance. Uh, Lizette, I don't know if you had uh, problems. If you want to uh, upload your yeah, I already upload. have. Okay, so you uh, you were not able to upload the video. Mm, I tried to upload. 
in my computer right now, but I can't. Okay. Um, how are, I'm curious, problem. how are you uploading or how are you recording the, the video? Are you doing it within Flipgrid or um, are you able to create the video and then upload it as separately? Have you tried both? Yeah. Have, you've tried I've both? I've tried it. Yeah. That's really weird. Have you ever tried it on another computer? Do you have a, a way to try it on another computer just to see if it's related to the, the computer? Mm, I have not another computer right now with me. I only have my computer. Okay. And you've tried this on your phone as well and the same problem happens? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, go ahead and upload to files like like you did last time under temp okay and uh, i'll upload it for you okay thank you teacher all right you're welcome uh maria de jesus i see that you have your hand raised i'm not sure if you have a question uh, feel free to jump right in if you want to unmute your microphone and ask uh, your question I'm sorry, teacher, but good day. Good uh, morning. Good morning. Uh, did you have a question? Yes. Yes. Mm. In access file right, uh, what? What is? Uh, do you have a question about what we're doing today? Mm. How work uh, file gripe? Mm. Um, I am can I can't access. Okay, you can't access uh, Flipgrid. Uh huh. Uh huh. See, see. Yes. Okay. Are you on a computer or a cell phone? Mm hmm. Are you on uh, a Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Are you on a computer or a mm -hmm. cell phone? Um, computer. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to share in the chat the mm -hmm. link okay all right and you have to enter the code the join code which is c four eight four five six nine five that's the code that you'll have to enter the first time you access this topic okay so try that on your computer and if you want to share your screen if you have problems and uh, if I can see what you're doing, I might be able to help you a little bit more. But try try accessing that link. Okay. Okay. Um, the password is um, what is password? Okay. The password is in the link. Okay. Uh -huh. If you notice after. The diagonal symbol, it says C, four, four eight. eight. Do, do you see it oh, in yeah. the chat? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I see, I see, um, uh-huh, yes. Okay, thank you, teacher. I okay. am, um, I am in, intended. <laughs> okay, yeah, try, try to uh, enter into the uh, topic and let me know if you have any other problems. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. All right, guys, wait just a, a minute or so more as folks are coming back. 
So we can begin uh, the next activity. I just uploaded Lisette's uh, video. So Lisette, if you're listening, it should appear. It's going to be under my name. So Jesus, if you guys, Chito, if you guys want to partner up, uh, Lisette, um, just respond to my video. And Lisette, you can respond to uh, Chito's video. Anyone else who has not uploaded their video, please do so as soon as possible. And you can partner up with those that are um, uploading that haven't uploaded. Okay. Um, depending on how long it takes, uh, tomorrow we can look at it again and you can respond uh, to your partner. If uh, you still haven't uh, found a partner, we can uh, figure that out tomorrow. But basically, we assigned partners, as I discussed earlier, by just looking and checking the order, uh, the order in which all of you uploaded your, your videos. Okay, so hopefully all of you at this point have, um, that all of you have your partners. The, I noticed, uh, I really like, uh, Maria Fernanda's, uh, video response. Um, if you're... Uh, curious, I would listen to her response because I liked how she elaborated a lot on the question. Okay, so she talked about the question. Of course, she posed the question, but she also talked about what her partner, uh, Gabby, uh, was talking about. And, uh, and uh, Fernanda included some of her thoughts as well and her reflective thoughts as she was posting, uh, posing the question. Okay. So very nice. So you can just post the question, but you can also provide context and talk a little bit more about the, the question, depending on, uh, depending on what it is you want to say. Okay. But very good, uh, job there. All right. It looks like some of you have responded. So if you haven't had a chance to respond, please do so before next class so that your partner can respond to your question. So your partner can answer the question that you included in your video response. Okay. All right. So for the rest of the class today, all right, I'm sharing my screen. Hopefully you can see my screen. I uploaded two files, actually three files that I want to talk about today. And then I want to give you the rest of today to continue working with your team members in creating your video that's going to be due this Friday, this Friday, September 25th. All right, I have three folders here that I would like for you to work on after class. And the first is an Excel spreadsheet that's called top 40 ish. Okay. Top 40. Um, here I would like for you to choose a song, one of your favorite songs, a song that has a particular special meaning for you. A lot of times meaningful songs make us reflect or remember maybe of an event that happened to us that was special to us in the past. So think of a, a, one of your favorite songs, and in the spreadsheet called Top 40-ish, I'd like for you to complete the spreadsheet, okay? Include your first name, the song title, the artist, the lyrics. Now, here the lyrics, I would like for you to include the link where you can find the, the lyrics, okay? So this is going to be a hypertext just like you did in your podcast spreadsheet. So include a hypertext to a web page that includes the lyrics to your song. Here, I, I would like for you to include key words or phrases that relate to the song. Song, maybe they're, they're special words or phrases that have a meaning uh, to you, or maybe there are words that you're not sure about, or maybe you have questions about the meaning of the word or phrases, include those word or phrases, uh, those words or phrases here 
in this column. I would separate the words and phrases with a semicolon if you have more than, word, more than one word or phrase that you would like to include. And a memo is just notes that you can include or I can include as necessary. This is optional, this memo column. All right, so this is the first spreadsheet I would like for you to um, add information to. Okay, this is your one of your most favorite songs. Again, think of a song that makes you reflect or think about some special event that happened to you in the past. Now, the only thing that I ask about the song, it doesn't matter what kind of song it is, as long as the lyrics are in English, and I would prefer a song that is not too dark or not too negative. Again, something, it can be serious. Maybe it's, uh, you know, it has some emotional uh, tie, right? But try not to choose a song that is too negative or too dark, uh, especially when it comes to the lyrics, all right? So try not to include something that's really negative, something preferably positive, or if it's serious, at least it's heartfelt, but it's not necessarily, uh, you know, too dark. All right, so this is the first uh, file, okay? It's called Top 40-ish. If you go under Files, under the General Channel, down at the bottom, you should be able to access this Excel spreadsheet. The second file is called New Vocabulary. This is something that I want to start working on this week, week five. Each week, I'm going to ask that you share a new word or phrase that you come across, whether it's in our class, Listening and Speaking, or any other Prope class, or maybe even uh, some some event or some something that you a word that you came across outside of school that you have a question about All right if it's a new word or phrase then i would like for you to fill out this spreadsheet your first and last name the word or phrase where were you when you you came across the word or where were you where you heard this word or phrase do you currently know this word or phrase? Okay, maybe you learned it yesterday, for example, and uh, today you know what it means. You can in indicate yes. If it's a word or phrase that you're still not sure about, that you have a question about, then answer no to do you know this word currently. This is, you know, what you, your current understanding of the word, that's what this question is referring to. Okay, so where were you when you found, came across the word or you found this word and do you know this word currently? And then memo is just extra space for either you or I can leave comments. Now here, if you have two or three words that you want to share that you learned this week, feel free to add as many rows as possible. Just uh, and put the same first name and last name and add a new word or phrase. Each word or phrase is a separate row, right? Each word or phrase, I would like for you to include where you were when you came across the word and do you currently know that word. As you see here at the bottom, this is week five, so each week we'll have a separate sheet. We'll keep adding sheets each week. We'll be coming back to our list and what I want to try to do is start using some of our new words that we learn, try to bring it into our class as much as possible, okay? Make sure that you're trying to use these new words or phrases in your classes. And any opportunity that you have to speak English, I would try to bring in and use those new words as much as possible. We're going to try to do what we can in our class to use these new words or phrases. This will also give you an opportunity to ask questions about certain words or phrases, as I will be looking at this uh, file every day to see how we can bring this into our class and uh, bring it into some of our class activities. All right, so this is the second spreadsheet. It's called New Vocabulary. It's also found under Files under the General Channel. The last file. And again, you can do this after class, 
Uh, when you have some time, go into each of these files. This is a tongue twister file. So we're going to practice. We're going to have some fun with some tongue twisters to help practice some of our, our pronunciation. So here what I would like for you to do is to find your favorite tongue twister in English. And the tongue twister needs to be at least 20 words. Okay, so it needs to be a little bit of a longer uh, tongue twister. Here you'll include your first and last name, the title of the tongue twister. Here I would like for you to include the tongue twister itself, the, the actual words to the tongue twister. All right, so this column, all right, I indicated a wrap text. So when you include the text, you can just type in the tongue twister. If it's more than one line, right, it will appear here, right? It will wrap around, okay? So you can include the, the lyric, the, the, uh, the actual tongue twister, the text to the tongue twister here. And here include the link to, the, uh, to an audio or video. If you can find an audio or video of someone reciting the tongue twister, then include the link, the hypertext, uh, here in this column under audio or video example. This is someone else saying the tongue twister. Okay, so this is not you reciting it. This is someone else. Include that link here. And you can just use the word link and just create a hypertext, much like you did in the podcast register Excel spreadsheet. So we have three uh, files here. New vocabulary tongue twisters, and top 40-ish that uh, after class, I would like for you to uh, check these out so that we can start uh, listening to some songs, l listen and practice some tongue twisters, and start thinking about new vocabulary and bringing it into our class uh, for uh, this semester. All, right, all of these three files, again, under files, under the channel, uh, the general channel, you should be able to access and open up these files. Okay? All right. The last thing uh, I want to give you guys until the rest of the class, the end of the class, to continue working in your groups. Remember that I would like to have one more conversation with each group before you begin recording your video. I have spoken with everyone, all the groups so far, and uh, I've heard some great ideas. I've tried to give some suggestions. My main suggestion to everyone is to create a video for a specific audience, and it's always better to talk more about less. What I mean by that is it's better to talk in greater detail about less things all right so really pay close attention to the audience who are you speaking to and don't speak to the entire world and you probably don't even want to speak to a particular whole country maybe it's a specific group of people within one country for example uh, to really try to narrow down the topic so that again you can try to speak in greater detail, focusing more on the solution to a problem. Of course, you want to introduce the problem, but most of the video should be about the solution. Your suggestions as a team that offers a solution or a possible solution to the problem for a specific group of people. All right, so um, it is 9.20. We have a few more minutes here. I know we don't have a lot of time, but I want to give you the rest of the time to get into your groups. Please record all of your sessions. Remember, in your groups under files, continue working and saving your files in folders. So we're in week five now. If you have any recordings from week four, include them there. Maybe create a, a folder 
But I would organize your videos, all of your your information into folders by week. All right? So we're in week five. Maybe add a week five folder and then make sure that you're downloading your video. Notice in this case for group one, right? They have an option to download the video, but it says it expires in 19 days. So if they don't download and upload to the files uh, space, they may lose this, uh, this recording. It's very important that you have recordings, that you have evidence of what, how you guys are working together and encourage each other, of course, to speak English. This is where you're going to improve the most by encouraging each other, helping each other speak English in these smaller groups. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic, guys. I'm going to be here until 940. We will come back. We'll close the class and answer any final questions. Of course, if you have any questions right now, jump in and uh, ask away. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. Let's break out into our teams and continue with our group activity for our video that's scheduled for uh, completing by this Friday, September 25th. All right, my friends, it's uh, 940. To uh, conclude today's class, just to review, we started off with uh, working in our uh, Flipgrid activity, what makes a true friend, all right? So if you have not uploaded your initial video, please do so as soon as possible so that you can partner up with someone else. Uh, today, we had time in class to respond to one of our classmates' video by asking a question. So make sure that you not only have asked a question to your partner, but you've also gone into your own uh, initial video to respond to the question that your partner posed. All right, so please try to include that for uh, before tomorrow if you haven't uh, completed that uh, already. And try to not write out anything. Try to respond uh, as quickly as possible and without having to write anything down. Don't worry about making mistakes. Just try to communicate and uh, share your message, share your response to your partner's question in uh, this Flipgrid activity. The second thing we talked about today, make sure that you start uploading information to these three files Top 40, these are songs, your favorite song that you would like to, uh, to share. We'll try to bring in some songs in our, our class based on this list. Uh, we're also going to start working with tongue twisters, so try to find your favorite tongue twister and add that, that, uh, uh, that tongue twister to this Excel spreadsheet. And also new vocabulary. This is something we're going to be working on each week. Again, the purpose is to try to recycle some of the new vocabulary that you're coming across, not only in this class, but any of the other appropriate classes or e any uh, situation outside of school where you're learning new vocabulary, feel free to add that information to this spreadsheet. Finally, we spent time working in our groups uh, to try to prepare for a video that's going to be due this Friday, September 25th. Remember that I'm going to ask that we have a meeting with your group before you begin to record your video. So when your team is ready to record your video, let me know. Schedule time with me, um, preferably outside of class. Just a few minutes for us to talk and uh, you can explain how you're going to uh, create the video, how you're going to organize uh, your your information, who's going to do what, who's going to say what, uh, just to get uh, some ideas about how you're going to organize your video. Okay? Any questions, guys, about anything that we discussed today? Teacher, I have a little question. Yes, go ahead. So I don't, I don't have idea... So what is a tongue twister? All right, a tongue twister. You go into your favorite browser and you type in tongue 
Twister. And I probably would tweet, or I would search, rather, uh, tongue twister with 20 plus words to see what kind of response you get. Tongue twisters that will improve. Let's try another one. How about this one? Okay, some short tongue twisters. These are short ones. These are some examples of ones that you can, uh, you know, practice. But I would prefer that you try to find a little bit longer tongue twister. But here's uh, here's some examples. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peckers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. All right. So these are some examples. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Uh, Betty Butter bought a bit of butter. So these are tongue twisters. They're phrases that begin, that have a lot of similar sounds. They're kind of fun sounds uh, when they're put together. And uh, they're oftentimes very difficult to say. Right? Oh, okay, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. Any other questions, guys? All right, guys, we'll go ahead and stop there for today. Um, I would ask, uh, I've reached out to some of you. I've sent a private message. I, uh, if anyone is having issues with technology, I really want to sp spend some time uh, trying to better understand your situation here so that we can try to fix the problem if possible. And so please check your emails. If I requested time to meet with you, please let me know when it's good for you so that uh, we can meet online and uh, we can try to address any of the technological problems or issues that you have. It's very important that you're asking and reaching out to me if you're having issues with technology. All right? The worst thing you can do is just not say anything and not be able to complete the tasks online. Right, I, I want to be as flexible as possible, but it really depends on us communicating and letting me know uh, so that I'm aware of the situation so that we can work together. If you're, not, uh, if you're not sharing this and reaching out to me, then I don't know, and uh, it just looks like you're not uh, completing the assignments. Okay, So it's very important to uh, let me know if you're having some issues with uh, technology. All right, guys, we'll stop there for today. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you guys uh, tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock sharp. See you later. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank, you, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too.